हेलो गाइस सारे पांडे हेयर फ्रॉम इंडियन विफिक स्कूल एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक टू एडवांस पारो सीरीज इनसाइड ऑफ फूड इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब एंड जॉइन आवर फेसबुक पेज यू कैन आल्सो हेड टू आवर वेबसाइट एंड चेक आउट आवर कोर्सेज ऑन हुडनी फिनिक्स एवरी टाइफ्लो एक्सेट्रा एंड बुक योर सेल्फ फॉर सेवन डेज फ्री डेमो क्लास एंड वॉच बाय योर सेल्फ हाउ सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव मेड टू द टॉप स्टूडियोज इन जस्ट टू मंथ्स ऑफ आर कोर्स All right, guys. So welcome back to the part one of our Pyro series. And in this part, we are going to look at very basic stuff about what is like smoke simulation. Why does it look like the way it looks, and why does the smoke rises up at all? Like when there is a dust storm, it looks like smoke, but it doesn't rise. Uh, when it's coming out of chimney, uh, it rises. The cloud, they look like smoke, but they don't rise. They are just still. Okay. And then we have something like oxy hydrogen flame, which doesn't produce smoke. at all so what is all this so let us just uh, look at it so when we say smoke we have a like very basic picture in our mind like uh, which is so we always visualize it like something like this so uh, forgive me for my uh, so good drawing but just get a basic idea so let's say if this is a smoke which is rising from somewhere or let's say if a plume of smoke is rising from somewhere so it is always rising so when we talk about smoke we always uh, visualize it like it's going to rise in the sky okay if it's static we think this is uh, that is like a you know a cloud and let's say when it's falling so either it is something which is very cold uh, like liquid nitrogen gas or let's say we can say uh, that is something like you know a dust kind of thing because dust always falls so now the question is why is it so that in some case the smoke is rising in some case uh, the smoke is like falling and in some case it's static so that thing is due to temperature okay so basically the molecules when they get uh, heated up so they start having you know they start having energy inside of them and they move far away from each other okay so when the air molecules they move far away from each other their density that decreases and we know whenever the density decreases uh, whether it be uh, liquid or any object it will always rise up okay so the temperature it rises up okay and it takes all the visible suit so what is suit so this this is our suit and or we can say this is our residual okay of anything of maybe it may be carbon it may be dust it may be dirt whatever it is and because this is very light it gets carried away with our temperature so this thing gets carried away with our temperature because it is so light and our temperature is moving up so we see a visible smoke so i hope now every, everybody like uh, under, understands like what is a smoke and how, why does it even looks like uh, it's rising or uh, i mean it's obviously it's rising but why does it looks like uh, Uh, it's having that smoke kind of structure and everything okay all right so what i'll do is so here you can see we are having a smoke simulation and the smoke is rising okay why is it so so if i go into my simulation you can see there is this tab which says temperature if i turn off the temperature our smoke is not going to rise because once again it's not having any temperature okay if i turn off on the temperature it's going to rise yeah that is right okay what else if i turn off the density then something is happening but we are not able to see why because density is the visible output of our simulation and temperature is just the driving factor okay so let us start by a brand new scene okay so i will make this geo folder okay and if you are just basically very new to the hudni you can watch a basic flip series or basic hudni series and you are just good to go with the ui and everything and even the flip simulation okay so let's go inside this and let me add a sphere okay and what i'll do is i'll just uh, maybe increase its uniform scale and i will just decrease it on the y axis maybe something like 0.03 okay or maybe 0.1 0.05 is fine okay and maybe i'll just uh, stretch it out and now i will just decrease the uniform scale okay so we are having something like this and what i'm going to do is uh, so now uh, like we are going to set up very basic uh, smoke simulation okay so in order to set up a very basic smoke simulation we need to have two stuff as i told 
that is density and temperature okay so uh, if you have been into uh, particle session or if you have been, if you know about flip simulations which i have uh, like as i said you can just watch out our basic series so those things work with particles okay but smoke is not uh, it doesn't consist of particles it consists of volumes vdbs okay so what we need to do is we need to convert this guy uh, we need to convert this polygon geometry into a smoke geometry or we can say into a vdb into a volume so let's say if i type vdb from polygons okay and just make sure uh, it's not distance vdb instead it's fog vdb so you can see we are having this density thing okay so this is looking like smoke okay we can decrease the voxel size to make it more accurate or something like that okay and uh, that's it now let me just add a null okay and you can see it uh, like it automatically named it as density it doesn't matter what it names here and i'll just show you what i mean okay so i can just copy this i'll just copy this null okay now let me go over here and let me add a dot net okay let's go inside this add a smoke object and make sure it's sparse not the normal one because you are going to use sparse simulation because it's faster and it's like a uh, lot better and we will just connect everything like that okay and let me add a volume so so why we are making this thing and this is like the bare minimum you always need to connect these nodes in order to get your simulation ready make sure to set it uh, like uh, insert this in the right slot in the sourcing you can put it over here but then later if we want to add forces we won't have any space and also make sure uh, if you want to know about all these so as i said uh, for the millionth time that just go and watch the basic series in our um, channel okay so in this volume source i can uh, there's this soft path i can just refer it to my uh, null from where we are having all the data what data we are having we are just having this density volume this density field okay which so we have a sphere it's getting converted into a density field okay now let me go over here and uh, right now it won't really do anything why is it so because uh, we are bringing the data but we are not matching it with anything so what we need to do is we uh, in this operations we need to click on this plus icon okay and it says a source volume so what is the source volume so the source volume means what what is the source so the source is density okay and let me show you uh, i'll tell you this in very uh, easy language because a lot of people they get confused like what is all this uh, bullshit because it doesn't make sense i'm not a coder or developer so yeah obviously uh, there's a way to understand this very easily and i'll show you so i'll put the density over here okay so the source volume says density and the target field will also be density because we need two things as i said density and temperature so density goes into the density and if i just click on this simulate you will see we are having density and as you might have known now we are having this but it's not rising because we are not having any temperature okay so let me just go back and just make one more uh, uh, vdb from polygon and this time i'll just call it temperature okay so i can just copy it i'll just copy the name and i'll just add a merge okay i'll merge both of them this is the output and if i click on this i so now we are having this density and the temperature thing okay so obviously if i do simulation it won't rise our smoke is not going to rise we need temperature also so again i will click on this operation one more time okay so it will add one more tab so this time i want a temperature the source volume name is temperature and the target field is also temperature okay now if i click you're going to see our smoke is going to get rise okay and this is what the bare minimum of making a smoke simulation is because smoke only looks like smoke when it's rising okay so right now you can see uh, the smoke it's just disapp disappearing and everything so we will fix that so just go into this pyro solver in the shape tab just turn off this dissipation okay that is it and now if i just play it you can see we are having something like this okay so now let's come to the cool part so what this name thing means so inside a pyro solver it expects few stuff it expects a density it expects a temperature 
and it also needs sometimes uh, pressure or we can call it divergence and sometimes it needs velocity field so those are two extra stuff that we are going to look into the next part okay so now the cool thing is uh, the name of the source doesn't matter only the target field name matters okay so let me show you i'll just remove all of them okay all right so we are not having anything now so here i'll go back and in this uh vdb from polygons instead of density i'll give it my name so if i call it sarthak so what will happen will it work how stupid this can be so let's see so if i just click on the source volume and if i just paste that sarthak obviously nothing will happen and let's say if i try to put the same name in the target field so obviously it's just going to slap me in my face that um, dude you are not the one who made this software so be, it's better you change it now so yeah so i'll change it to density so the source is sarthak so source source just means that the source name okay so source name can be anything okay so let's say if you change your name your your mother will always recognize you by your face okay you can change your name to whatever you want but your parents will always recognize you so the same thing is happening over here so hudni is a, as a parent will always recognize its child as long as it's having the right data which is like vdb so if i name it sarthak but if i put the target field into the density you will see we will have a density and let's say if i just click one more time and this time again i will just copy it i'll paste it over here sarthak and i'll name it temperature okay so we will have a smoke simulation still rising because it's reading what is the target field yes but never put sarthak in the source field otherwise you're going to get kicked out from your company just put it to temperature and density or what you can do is you can just put everything to the density so you can just name everything to the density that's what i typically do uh, my source volume will always be the same name density will go into the density and the density will also go into the temperature okay and that will just work fine but right now it won't work because we are not having anything named as density coming from our shop so i can just name it density so now it's going to work so as you might have uh, guessed it the source name doesn't matter as long as it's going into the right temperature and the source name is matching from the shop field okay so that is it uh let's meet in the next part where we are going to look at what is expansion and then we are going to look at what is like velocity okay bye bye